So you are once again welcome to my channel. You are welcome to Catfish Solution Academy. We are in episode 20 and uh, we'll be continuing on what we are talking about, which we are talking about how to calculate for your crude uh, protein. That means manually how to calculate for your crude protein in fish feed, catfish feed concentration. So, and uh, from our last episode, we are talking about the first one, which is the fish meal. So I'll be continuing again with your fish meal because of our time. My name once again is the main of the I be your great uncle on this uh, channel. So let us just go on a short uh, break. So you are welcome once again to this channel you are welcome to catfish a solution please for those of you who have not subscribed to this uh, channel make sure that you uh, subscribe now and please press on the notion button press on the like button and the share button and if you have an advert that you thought you want to bring up on this channel please make sure that you come up with your advert we can help you to put it up here just to support the great job we are doing there for those of you who have uh, be contributing and with those of you who have been assisting in order to make sure that these uh, because we are burning that task in order to make sure that this program continue i'll say a very big thank you to you and god will continue to bless you guys so again let us just go because of our time because on our other episode uh, i think 20 we made the uh, uh, 19 we made a lot of introductions and today let us just make it very very fast so we are talking about how to calculate for your crude protein and I told you the formulation is C divided by 100. That means the total amount of concentration you are using. That means times the quantity of the material you are using. You want to calculate for divided by one. We give you your crude protein for that particular concentration. So fish meal. I told you if you are using 30 percent, maybe your total formulation, the total concentration is with 30 percent, and you are using a fish meal of 5 percent. How to calculate this is 72 percent divided by the 30 times 5 divided by 1 it will give you the crude protein that you have in that uh, concentration so in our formulation we are having we are using 50 percent 50 kg of fish meal and uh, we are using uh, we are formulating our total concentration is 100 kilo first for you to do this we will have to be input the crude protein of that material is 72 percent divided by 100 times 50 divided by 1 this will give us our crude protein calculation which comes to like 36 percent crude protein for the fish meal you use on that concentration so let us go to full fast soya or soya meal any of it and we made that ranges of we are we made that ranges 42 percent crude protein depending on the one you are using and i told you if you really want to know about the exact crude protein of each material that means you need to take your materials to the lab yeah you need to take it to the lab for testing or else you have a testing uh, a material testing kit in your farm but if you don't have you need to take it to the lab so for us to use the food fast soya if you want to use soya cake or soya meal so this is how you go about it we are using the total crude protein for that is 42 percent and we are using just 20 percent 20 kg so this is how you do that you will that see where you saw see you will put 60 46 percent divided by 100 that means the total kg the total uh, kg of your concentrate 100 divided by 20 that means the percentage of that ingredient you are using at for the concentration divided by one this will give you the total cp which is calculated mm -hmm. for 9.2 percent crude protein and again if you are likes that you want to do 30 kilo so you, you put the crude protein still remains the same for 46 percent divided by 30 and from that 30 maybe you are using seven percent of soya meal you now put seven divided by one this will give you by the time you calculate you this will tell you the uh, percentage of crude protein of that material 
in that concentration. So we now go into what we call the GNC, that means the uh, granite cake. I told you there are different kind of granite cake. We have at least the basic one. We have two. We have the shard and the ordinary one. The shard is reduced in oil content, while the ordinary one is full of oil. For those of you who want to go into extruding, uh, using an extruding pellet, I want you to float. So I advise you to go for the tiny shard GNC yeah so if you want to do that in our concentration we are using 60 percent crude protein for the gnc and i told you earlier soya meal gnc are some of the backup for the crude protein for your fishes not every livestock uses it because they are high in they are highly they are high in crude protein and since they are high in digestible crude protein because fishes needed more crude protein to do better so that is why we are using most material so that you can be an adult for the fish meal which is really high in crude protein for those of you that are into chicken broiler and co you can notice that if you give them more of a, a protein food they will start having diarrhea and a lot of uh, uh, infections we started uh, uh, up to them. There are a lot of diseases uh, we started, uh, they started giving a lot of symptoms on diseases. So because of this, because of the high level of uh, crude protein, but fishes need crude protein to do well. So that is why chicken formulation, you will see that the fish meal they use, if you are even using fish meal, just very small and you'll be using the likes of fiber, you'll be using the likes of energy, calcium for them to do well. So but for fish, fish need more protein so that is why we are using most of the proteinous grains in order to substitute or in order to hard up uh, for the crude protein to come high so we are talking about gnc which is the granite cake gnc as we, we are using 45 percent crude protein and we are doing a concentration of 100 kilo and we are using 20 percent quantity 20 percent kg of the material into our concentration so this is how you do it you put 45 40 46 percent which is the amount which is the amount of the uh, uh, digestible crude protein in that material divided by 100 which is the total concentrate we are doing the uh, times uh, 20 which is the amount of ingredient we are using for that uh, concentrate divided by one this will give us a 12 percent crude protein on that concentrate so then let's go into the last one, which is the flour. You know, we are talking about our first formulation now. I told you we'll be going into the alternative material, alternative uh, uh, concentrate. But the one we are talking about that is the first one we tied with. We are going to alternate it in order to give us the same crude protein and it will give us cheaper uh, rate in order to do it. So that's why I tell you, you can alternate depending on the material you can find. In your location i think this is very very interesting yeah this is getting more interesting so we are talking about the flour so we are using flour for our next uh, formulation in order for our next uh, uh, material ingredient so flour we tagged it as nine percent uh, digestible crude protein and uh, you know flour is more of energy and carbohydrate in order just to uh, you know we need all these in order to help our uh, material i know we have a lot of supplementary inside which we help uh, balance uh, the the we help balance the the feed we need a lot of things to balance the feed which we are talking about the lysine the mentholine the vitamins and co because some of these material are here highly high in lysine and mentholine so that is why we need a balancing if your feed is not balanced your fish is, your if your feed is not or concentrate is not balanced your feed will have problem and this will result into your fishes so i'll be going into more that on that note that we'll be talking about diseases too and symptoms and control on this uh, channel so you know, can see that you will still have a very long way uh, to go so the flour we are using nine percent uh nine percent for the crude protein so we'll be targeting that nine divided by 100 that means the total concentrate uh times uh, 10 we are using 10 percent that means the quantity of the flour we are using in that concentrate is just 10 divided by one this will give us one percent if you calculate it to give you one percent crude protein so that means if you want to do 30 kilo again 
and the note that the nine percent stand you use nine divided by thirty and you are using maybe three percent flour you put three divided by one this will give you the total number of crude protein that flour may give you in that concentrate so in this our concentrate this our four concentrate we have our um, the ingredient crude protein by the side now so we have the first one is the fish meal we have 62 36 percent the second one is the soya meal which we have 9.2 percent for those of you that are writing it down i told you please write this down you need to write it down you need to get a book for it and the gnc we have 12 percent crude protein and the flour we have one percent crude protein so by the time you do your calculation you arrive at 58.2 percent crude protein approximately 58 crude percent crude protein now by the time you walk up to a, a you wake up to buy maybe you want to buy 2 mm or you want to buy 1.8 and you look at the label and that uh, you saw that they have 45 percent crude protein the most highest one, most of the two mm we have in the market is 42% crude protein. And you are having, you did your formulation for 58.58% 58 crude protein. You can see the level that your fishes will do better. So with this formulation, you can use it for your fryers. You can use it for your fryers. You can finish this formulation and use grinder to grind it into crumbles. You can feed your uh, fryers with it these formulations are formulations for uh, fishes from 0 0.2 0 0.1 so if your fishes can eat this at 2 mm note what the speedy growth that you have in that your fishes but let me tell you something these are where many farmers are making it getting it wrong because I've seen a lot of farmers that give their fishes chaffed fishes from the from the beginning from the infant need higher crude protein when you give them more crude protein they develop very very fast but as they are getting uh, bigger you can start reducing the crude protein but from the from the beginning they need higher crude protein to grow big and better so for you to get that this formulation alone by the time you we do the calculation the total calculation you will see that the cost of 0 0.8 is higher than it even let me say we are buying uh, uh, like, uh we are buying some product sorry to mention that we are buying some product there are two mm are uh, uh they sell for 20 26 thousand 27 thousand some 25 thousand some 28 thousand for <laughs> uh 15 kg yeah and you can achieve your kg for even 25,000 for 2 mm with this formulation and you are having a crude protein of 58 percent while others are having a crude protein of 40 or 45 percent which one will do better just i just want to give you that assignment uh, to know that you are on the right track so with this we'll be moving forward i'm just i just need to explain this to you because this is the area lot of farmers are getting it wrong lot of farmers are really getting it wrong so you need to understand how to concentrate a very good formulation for your feed and note we are still going into the alternation i told you we are going into we are going to alternate it for other materials that is not mentioned here in order to give you more cheaper rate and higher CP. So that means CP. That means since we are having 58 percent of a nutritional diet, this means for the newly fryers, from for if you follow my table for the ranges of uh, nutrient that will help you grow your fishes, you can see this fall between. I told you earlier this fall between the level of the newly fryers, which you can feed from 0 0.1 with this formulation so doing the calculation we're we'll going to the calculation and i will tell you the way this may help you guys so with this we'll be ending our episode uh, for today so we'll be diving into the episode 21 
so make sure that you subscribe to uh, this channel and try to watch to the end because all this information are very very important for farmers that would like to grow so thank you so much and god bless you all